Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 15th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Large plasma filaments spinning around the northern and southern hemisphere, around both poles, as well multiple M-class solar flares and X-class solar flare reported yesterday. So active sunspot regions indeed earth-facing. Having a look here at the last 48 hours of imagery cresting into view, some active sunspot regions and as well plasma filaments dancing around the surface there. Outgoing, this is where we saw that numerous sunspot grouping region that produced the M-class solar flares and X-flare visuals here in the outgoing position. Looking at multispectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, these sunspot regions reacting with each other and against each other. And we also have a very large and deepening coronal hole in the northern hemisphere of our sun was posted in the sun short earlier and that will increase our solar wind speeds over the next 36 hours having a look here at another light just some amazing images of our sun and as well observing the m-class solar flares and x flare and right now we have 11 earth facing sunspot regions there they are right there let's have a look at these sunspot regions in motion speeding up the video imagery here large sunspot grouping and as well a couple fast forming sunspots earth facing and cresting into view some notable regions there in the southern hemisphere of our sun current space weather conditions we are under r1 minor radio blackout impacts expected high frequency radio communication Solar winds are coming in at 337 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, multiple M-class solar flares. Another couple M-class solar flares since last night's update and increasing into R1 range. So could have another one on deck. Geomagnetic activity is low. Having a look here at the highest frequency affected areas. This is, show this is the DRAP showing the normal proton backgrounds definitely were some big pulses today over the pacific ocean over hawaii where we're seeing an increased earthquake swarm quick look here at the space weather prediction center showing their space prediction spiral expected geomagnetic instability starting from the 16th continuing to the 19th iswa space prediction spiral showing Still, just the large CME taking off towards Venus. No new coronal mass ejections thwarted our way. Having a look here at Lasco 3, showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energy leaving our sun. And watching the last few images on the 15th, you'll see increasing brightness on both sides. As I said, we could be experiencing a x flare or large m flare on deck let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours we're going to start off here in tonga where the largest magnitude earthquake struck 5.8 magnitude at hai hai fo tonga 10 kilometer depth and our deepest earthquake today 607 kilometer depth fiji region 4.8 magnitude and as well another deep one 4.3 but at 569 kilometer depth. And that's a little bit worrisome considering it's very quiet across the West Pacific plate right now, only reporting a 5.2 Papua New Guinea. Nothing happening in the Philippines, nothing happening in Japan or Eastern Russia towards Kamchatka. Increasing seismicity up into Alaska and as well Inuvik, Canada, 4.1 magnitude earthquake. Cross American soil, notable earthquake here, 3.4, Sumanac, Illinois, and minor seismicity continues at Winoka, Oklahoma. Other than that, no major earthquake swarms except for increasing seismicity at Hawaii. Kilauea volcano 
Having a look here at USGS, they're reporting 254 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. And about 50 of them have been on the Hawaiian island. Quick glance here, all the red dots are the most recent earthquakes. Notable activity there, Yellowstone. But let's have a look at Hawaii, see where these earthquakes are occurring. As they are occurring inside the Kilauea Caldera Summit and as well south and southeast. Not quite in the same region where they were swarming last week, but definitely keep a heads up, my Hawaiian friends and family. And stay aware and prepared. Having a look here across California, notable activity in Northern California, Prattville, and as well, minor seismicity north and south of Yellowstone Lake. And seismicity seems to be decreasing towards the Pacific Northwest. Washington and Oregon tremors have ceased. Carrying on here around the globe, 4.3 there, Cocos Plate. Seismicity continuing through Chile, 4.9 magnitude being the largest across the South American plate, Africa, quiet, northward, quiet. 254 earthquakes in the 24-hour period. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers across the world. And thank you all for watching today. Please don't forget to give a big old thumbs up. Get in the comments section and tell us how much you enjoy the show. And thank you for almost 80,000 followers. Keep sharing and caring. Last seven days for earthquakes around the world, folks. Still expecting something. Pacific Northwest, Juan de Fuca Plate. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast, air quality forecast, brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. Big eruption at Popo Paquetito in Mexico. Mexico City, large, very active vol volcano, probably the most active on the planet. Some large eruptions overnight, as this did not look like this in last night's update. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Big plumes still coming out of Mount Etna. And through Central Africa. And parts of Afghanistan. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia and Malaysia. Notable plumes coming out of New Caledonia and as well Indonesia towards Krakatoa and the Japan Islands from Taiwan and northward. Kamchatka, eastern Russia. Oh, three or four volcanoes that are active there. And as well through the Aleutian Islands, got about three or four volcanoes that are active through there. Now let's have a look at our world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Scattered thunderstorms to continue here over the next couple days as a low pressure system moves in. High pressure ridge will be building in behind it, but not, not until Wednesday or Thursday. Watch for extreme weather all along the coast late into the week, Thursday to Saturday. High pressure ridge builds in for eastern Canada and as well the west. And in comes the heat dome as well. Watch for very warm conditions as I posted in yesterday's video showing the temperature graphs. Big heat wave moving all the way up into the northwest territories of Canada. Carrying on here across overlooking Europe, Africa, India. Europe, you've got about well, two low pressure systems affecting you this week. Most of them are staying out into the North Atlantic. High pressure ridge, pretty dominant. And warm temperatures will be flooding across the nations there as well over the next few days. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Monsoon rains, heavy rains. Flash floods. And as well, a strong system moving towards northern New Zealand in the long-range forecast. Other than that, no major typhoons, cyclones, or hurricanes forecast here over the next seven days. 
around the world. This is your world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com mixed with daily events worldwide. I want to thank you again for watching. Thanks for checking in. And for all of you in the premiere right now, thank you so much for all of the love and support to the channel. Super chats, memberships, I love you all. So grateful to be a part. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.